Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to see how to fire automatically with our weapon. So we're going to take the only weapon that we have to us and obviously that can shoot automatic. The gun right here, if you can see I'm holding down, you can see the square on the screen. So saying that I'm automatic and when I release, stop firing and when I press again, there we go. Party goes on, right? So until I have no more bullet, so no more bullet now, so I can't fire anymore. So we're going to see how to do this. Well, we're going to go to our first person character and we're going to go to the input action fire. Move those nodes a little bit out of the way. And we're going to start with a branch. The release in the branch here. And the false to the is valid. After this, we're going to get our weapon master class. And from the weapon master class, we're going to search automatic. And we're going to get his automatic boolean. And we're going to plug this automatic to the condition here. All right, because we want to verify that our weapon is automatic. If it's not automatic, it's going to the normal code. If it's automatic here, we're going to call our automatic loop. All right, so we're going to create the automatic loop. We're going to create a custom event. And we're going to call that automatic loop. And now we can do the reference on the top here from the automatic loop. So just search for automatic loop. And we're going to plug this to is valid. So we press. Is it automatic? Yes or no. If it's true that it's automatic, it's going to go to the loop so we can shoot automatically. If it's not, it's going to go to the normal code. So we're going to take our automatic. There's a, there's different way to do automatic system, obviously. You can use, you know, event tick, but we're not going to do this because we don't want to check every frame if the gun is firing or not. So what we're going to do use, we're going to use a timer. So just search for set timer by event. And the event will be another custom event that we're going to create. And this one, we're going to call that automatic. All right, so we have our firing. We have the automatic loop and the automatic itself to shoot with our fire. So we're going to make sure that the timer is looping. We want this to, to loop every time we are having our key to fire press down. So we're going to click loop. We're going to take our weapon master class and we're going to verify the automatic fire rate of our weapons. So we're going to get the automatic fire rate. I'm going to plug this to the timer right here. So if you remember, if we go to our assault rifle, if we search for fire rate, we have it right here. And the fire rate is set up to 0.1. So we have to go to your weapon itself to define which speed you will like your weapon to fire. Okay. So we're going to go back to the first person character. From the return value here, we're going to search to clear and invalidate timer by end all. We're going to unplug this by holding alt and we're going to plug this to the release on our action fire up here. Okay, don't worry I'm going to explain what it does after. From the automatic we're going to search for branch and that branch will verify that we do have enough bullets to fire and if we don't it's going to stop right because we don't want to uh, like having 30 bullets shooting all the bullets and when we arrive at zero keep firing it's not what we want so we want to make sure that we are stopping the fire if we don't have enough bullet so we're going to take the weapon master class and from that we're going to search for the current ammunition in our clip and we're going to make sure that it's not equal so search for equal equal not equal to zero and put that in the condition here. If it's not equal to zero, it's mean that we can fire. So we're going to fire our line trace and we should be good with this. So now what the code is doing for us, it's very, very simple. So I'm going to go through it. So make sure you understand. So when we press, we're checking our weapon master class. If the weapon is automatic, if it's automatic, it's going to call the automatic loop. If it's not, it's going to go to our normal code here. So if we go to the automatic loop, it's mean that 
we have to verify the fire rate of our weapon, which in this case, from the assault rifle here, the fire rate is here and it's set at 0.1. So we know that this is working. We want to make sure it's looping. So we want that to trigger each time that this is hold down. When we release our key, it's going to activate the clear, the timer and this will no longer be in action which is going to stop the automatic fire but also when we firing into automatic down here we want to make sure that we do have enough bullet and if our bullet in our clip reach zero it's mean that this will be true so nothing's going to happen so it's mean that if nothing happened it's mean that this code here doesn't fire. If it's false, it's because we have enough bullets, so we're gonna continue firing our line trees. Okay, so we're gonna try this out. We're gonna compile, go to our first person character, and we're gonna take the only weapon we have in automatic. And if I hold down, you can see it's shooting in automatic. You can see the dot on the screen. If I stop by releasing, it's stopping firing. So we're going to hold that down until we have no more bullet. So let's do this. There is no more bullet. You can see there is absolutely nothing going out because we have empty our clip. Right. So that's pretty much how to do a firing system for automatic. I know there's other way to do it. Uh, I like this way because it's not using the event tick, which is great. So. On this, I will uh, catch you on the next one. See ya.